bubbler.com and today we're going to take a look at what's in my beach bag. I guess technically it's not really my beach bag because we're not at the beach, but more so what's in my outdoor bag. Things that I highly recommend you take along when you're going out to the pool, a picnic, or you're going to be outside in the sun. Um, I have lots of goodies in here so stick around and I'll show you what's inside. Alright, so first of all, if you're going to be out and about and you're going to be in the sun, the most important thing that you need to make sure you have in here is water. So one bottle, a couple of bottles if possible. Um, keep hydrated if you're going to be in the sun, it really does take a lot out of you. Um, so make sure that you have multiple bottles of water on you at all times. Next, you want to keep yourself protected from the sun. So as you see, um, some essentials that you're going to need. I like to wear a hat when I'm outside just to keep my face out of the sun and glasses. Um, the next really important thing is a sunscreen. This is Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration and it's a lotion so it's going to moisturize as well as protect you. This is SPF 50. Um, I recommend around 50 to 75. You can use something higher for me. Around 75 is usually what I use. I don't really go out in the sun a lot and I'm fair skinned so I tend to burn pretty quickly. Um, and this is a great, this is kind of its counterpart. This is the After Sun Hydrating. Um, it's got aloe in it, so it's going to keep your, your skin really smooth after being out in the sun when it's dried out. Um, a few other things. I have like five lotions in here, just so you know. This is a body butter, which I really, really recommend. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lotions that are kind of creamy and uh, like watery. I like the thicker lotions because I feel like it's actually doing something for my skin, and my skin tends to get really dry. So this is a Burt's Bees uh, Cherry Cranberry Pomegranate Body Butter. It smells amazing, and it works really, really well. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? This stuff is really great. This is a macadamia natural oil. It's a hair mask. Um, it's typically meant to, after your hair is wet, you're supposed to comb it through your hair completely and kind of let it sit. I think it says for about seven minutes and then you rinse it out. But what I like to do is I just get a tiny bit and get this lid off. I'll just get a tiny bit on my fingertips and kind of rub it through my ends, especially if you've been in the ocean, that salt water is really going to dry your hair out. So um, you don't need a whole lot, just a tiny bit, run it through the ends, it's going to keep them from getting dry. Um, what else do I have in here? I have a hairbrush. Uh, this is actually an extension brush, but it's one of my favorite brushes it has. It's called the Looper, and it has these little loops on the end, so it keeps for your hair from getting snagged and breaking off. I essentially got it for putting extensions in my hair, but I liked it so much I actually use it all the time. I don't even use a regular brush anymore. And this I think you can get at Sally's. The travel size is about 3 or $4, which is a great buy. Um, always essential, a first aid kit. Uh, this is just a uh, Walgreens or CVS first aid kit. It has some band-aids, um, some hand cleaning wipes, some antiseptic. I have some Neosporin in here, some gauze. Uh, really always good to have on hand. You never know when you're going to get a cut or anything. So I'm kind of paranoid too, so I always have. I'm like the grandma. This is my grandma bag of all the things. Okay, okay so let's else. see what else we have in here. Um, this is another great product. This is a Dior. It's a BB cream. And one great thing about it is it is SPF 50. So I know for me, if I were to put something like this on my face, I would instantly be broken out all over and it would be awful. So I can't really put just generic sunscreens on my face. Uh, this is made for your face, so it's going to be a lot more gentle. And it's still going to give you light coverage. So if you don't necessarily want to go bare skinned, um, it'll give you light coverage and also protect your skin, which is very, very important. Um, a few other things I have in here. Antibacterial is always a must, um, especially when you're out and about and there's nowhere to wash your hands. Um, I recommend always having this on hand. It's a um, germ killer and it's super easy. You can get them for like 50 cents to a dollar pretty much, pretty much anywhere. I want to apologize for the wind. Apparently Mother Nature doesn't know that we're trying to film video right now, so if it keeps getting windy, I, I apologize in advance. So let's go back into the bag and see what else I have in here. Um, Bayer Chewable Aspirin. I am not a huge believer in taking medications at all, but when I really have a headache that won't go away, these are really great. They're low dose aspirin. They're chewable. They taste like cherries, so they taste really great. So if I really have a headache, I usually get them when I'm out in the sun a lot. I'll just chew on two of these, and usually that helps out a whole lot. Um, what else? Makeup. Well, something out there. Makeup wipes. Um, so after a long day at the beach or out in the sun, you kind of get that like sweaty, grimy kind of feeling no matter, you know, pretty much no matter what. So I always like to have makeup wipes on me. These are great. These are um, from CVS. These are the only makeup wipes I use. And they are the generic brand of the 
ponds. Um, they're really moisturizing. Uh, they work great and they smell really good. Moisturizer. This doesn't have an SPF, so I really recommend using this, say, after you're going to be out in the sun when you've wiped everything off. You can put a moisturizer, you're going to be in the shade or it's getting cooler. Uh, this is a really great moisturizer. It's really light. It works really well, and it's, it's really great for sensitive skin, which is a problem of mine. Um, some little techie things that I think we always, always have on us. First of all, your cell phone and headphones. So if you're laying out in the sun, uh, you can listen to some music. I know I have some more stuff in here. Okay, chopstick is always essential. And I know I have, I'm kind of like a chapstick lipstick lip gloss freak. So um, I always have different kinds of stuff. This is uh, Burt's Beeswax, the lip balm. Um, it's 100% natural, which is really great. And then I also have this, it's uh, by Rosebud. It's strawberry lip balm and moisturizer. Neither of these have an SPF, so um, don't necessarily recommend wearing them if you're in the sun. If you are gonna be in the sun, try having something with an SPF in it. Um, and I think the last thing I have in here is deodorant, which is always a necessary thing, uh, especially when you're out in the sun, you might get a little smelly, so it's good to have some deodorant um, just to freshen up at the end of the day. So I think, oh, and a towel. Always make sure you have a towel so you're not having to sit on the dirty grass or in the sand. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I have in here. I think it's pretty much, oh, one more thing. Thanks to Ruby, our videographer. She's always giving me snacks, so I went ahead and threw this in my bag as well. <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. Love you.